My setup has been through many, many, many iterations over the past few years, and along with it, so has my entire bedroom. But I think it's finally gotten to the point that I'm completely happy with it. So without further ado, here is a fully in-depth tour of my entire room. So this is the room, but we're gonna start to the left side of the door and go all the way to the right until you get to my setup. So starting off with one of my dressers, I have an RGB globe from Hampton Bay, a few random things like this. I'm pretty sure my brother got me this from Florida, a lighter that I got from my grandpa, a globe that I think my dad got me from New Orleans, and the box to my black Rubik's cube that I have on the shelf above my setup. To the right of that are a few cards that my sister got me for Christmas last year, and an old I used to use it to listen to music through Bluetooth, but since then I've just gotten much better speakers, which sound much better, so she just kind of sits in this corner. In the actual corner between this and my wall is my tripod for my camera. I recently got it to upgrade from my old Amazon Basics one. Up and to the left of that is an Unisanas poster. If you know, you know. Sticking to the right, I have a Fejka plant from Ikea. I think that's how you say it. It's supposed to be like bamboo, it's not real, but honestly, it's really good quality, especially for $60. And it adds some much needed greenery to my room that I just didn't have before. Against the baseboard behind that plant is an ethernet cable that goes from downstairs up to my room. It routes from outside the door, behind the plant, and behind the mirror from Ikea that I got recently. I think it was $180. I'm not sure what it's called, but I think all mirrors from Ikea are called the same thing. So you can just look up mirror from Ikea if you really wanna know. I think it's 72 inches tall and 32 inches wide, which is the perfect size to see your whole body. Behind it is a 16 foot Govi RGB strip that I got from Amazon. If you're wondering, all of the other RGB strips in this entire room are also Govi. Sticking to the right, I have my guitar. I haven't played it in a long time and I only really know like half of a song. I honestly don't even think it's tuned because last time I tried to play it, it sounded pretty wonky. Uh, but yeah, it sits there until I think of playing it. Next is my actual entertainment center. The main display is a 4K 65 inch Samsung TV. Below it are my two consoles, the PS5 that I got a few years ago for an absurd amount of money, and the Xbox One S that I haven't played in like a year and a half since I got the PS5. To the left of each console is their respective controllers. One of my two Xbox controllers is the 20th anniversary Xbox controller. It has a green Xbox logo and some green grips on the back. I think it was like $80 and I haven't even used it once actually with my Xbox since I haven't really played my Xbox since I got it So it just sits there for decoration. The other Xbox controller is just Some random Xbox controller that's really worn because I used it for a few years and then the audio jack broke so That one's basically broken. It just kind of sits there to the right of the PS5. I have two controllers one black one and one white one that I got with the PS5. They both sit on the PlayStation controller charging dock, I think it's called. Holding all that is my main dresser. I have no clue what it's called, but it's nice to have a lot of drawers since my old room, I had like three. Sticking to the right, I have two posters. I recently got them from Amazon. I think they're $32 each with the frame. The one on the left are just some Air Jordans. And the one on the right is like a sketch of the Lamborghini Gallardo. Next are a few shelves. The top one has a globe from Oklahoma, I'm pretty sure and a plant from Amazon. The bottom one has my two Quest controllers that I haven't used in months, and another fake plant from Amazon. They're both fake. Below that's my bed. All the furniture in this entire room is from Ikea, so so is my bed. I'm not sure what else to say about my bed other than there's two drawers and I can only get to one of them. In this drawer hold all my shoes. I have some black Court Vision Lows, I think they're called. They look like black Air Force Ones, but just a little less chunky. I have some blazers that I don't really wear often, but when I do, they take a long time to put on and off. If you have blazers, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Some really old beater shoes that are really ruined. A pair of Reebok shoes, which I don't know what they're called, but honestly, they're pretty nice. And my new beater shoes, which are some Nike Air Maxes that I basically use for everything. And finally, here is the setup. Starting with my chair, it's pretty beat. I am planning on getting a new chair relatively soon, but it's honestly pretty comfortable. The only thing wrong with it are purely aesthetic, like this. I don't know how that even happened. I think it was like $80, but I am gonna get a new one soon. 
Now with the actual setup, starting with my peripherals. My keyboard is the Royal Kludge RK61 that I modded pretty recently. I replaced the regular blue switches with some high ground Titan Heart switches. I put some foam at the bottom of the plate. I did a tape mod and I replaced the regular keycaps with some nice gray and white floral ones from Amazon. If you're curious of what it actually sounds like, I'll put a sound test right here. For my mouse, I have the SteelSeries Aerox 3 Wireless. I think it was around $100 and I really like it. It's extremely quality, it has a honeycomb design, it's super light, and it's wireless and the battery lasts pretty long. I have a black and white topographic mouse pad that I got from Amazon for I think $15. If you're wondering about anything in this video, I'll put links to everything down in the description. The mouse pad is pretty decent. It's really cheap. Uh, the slide on the mouse is pretty good. It is pretty thin though, and it slides around a decent amount. But other than that, it's a pretty good mouse pad. For my main display, I have a 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitor from Scepter. My secondary monitor, which I mostly use for Spotify and Discord, is also made by Scepter. It's a 27 inch 1080p 75 hertz screen, which I actually have flipped upside down, so there's minimal bezel in between the two. My speakers are the Mackie CR3 XBTs. They're three inch studio monitors with Bluetooth. They honestly sound incredible, especially for $100. My previous speakers and my previous setup were like $15 Creative Pebble V2s. So getting some actual quality speakers were really needed. Behind the monitors are some 3D art panels from Amazon. I stuck them to the wall using some double-sided Velcro strips. So I don't think they're gonna fall off anytime soon, but there are a few gaps in between a few of them. Other than that, I think they look really nice. On the outside of them, I have a Govi glide bar going all the way up and then all the way across to the corner. The shelf is a 74 inch lac from Ikea, I think. On the shelf, I have a black Rubik's cube from blackparis.com. It's like $35 for a wooden Rubik's cube. It has some pretty cool designs on it, but it's only really for decoration. Along the glide bar, there's a few fake leaves. I have a fake hanging plant that I got from Amazon. And to the right of that is my Oculus Quest 2, which like I said earlier, I haven't really used in months. So it just sits there and just looks good, I guess. Below all that, I have my custom built PC. I have a full video of explaining why I got each part and building the whole thing. So if you're interested in that, you can go to the link up here. If you're not interested in watching that, I'll give you the quick rundown. It has a Ryzen 5 3600, an RTX 3060, 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM, and a 750 watt power supply. I think it's pretty decent for my first custom built PC. I definitely could have done a little better with my budget, but I'm fine with it. To the right of that, I have my pegboard from Ikea. On the bottom right, I have an old Xbox One controller in white. To the left of that, I have a few keyboard parts from when I modded my keyboard, like some blue switches and the old keycaps. On these hooks, I have two necklaces, my Galaxy watch, my real watch, and a watch from my grandpa that just sit there. I don't really use any of them, but I guess I can if I really wanted to. And to the left of that are my headphones. I have the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7 wirelesses. I think they're like $180. I have a review video on them, which is pretty old and it's not very good. So probably shouldn't watch that, but I think they're really nice. Their battery lasts a long time and they're not very heavy at all. As you may have noticed, all of my peripherals are actually wireless. So when they need charged, I have a USB-C cable that's connected to a 45 watt power brick under the desk that I quickly can reach over to and plug all my stuff in. Below the pegboard is my digital clock. A lot of people used to ask me about this. It's a digital alarm clock by J-A-L-L. -L. You can find it on Amazon if you type that exact same thing in. But again, everything's down in the description. The last thing on my desk is this 50 millimeter f1.8 lens for my camera. I mostly use it for photography, but that is where it stays. And finally, to the right of my setup is this small mirror that I actually had before that mirror. I know it's kind of weird that I have two mirrors in my room, but it would look pretty plain if I took it off, so it just kind of stays there.